All right, guys, I've played a lot of balloons, a lot of balloons, and I've seen a lot of newbie things, mainly those newbie things being myself when I was first started playing, and yesterday. I did a lot of newbie things yesterday. Either way, that's not important. In today's video, I want to show you some of the newbiest things in Balloon Tower Defense, and then I'm going to take all of those newbie things, and I'm going to go play online with other people, pretending to be the biggest noob possible and i'm gonna see how people react when i just play like like i've never played before and i think it's gonna be hilarious all right i hope you guys enjoy today's video also this isn't like a list nothing's in particular order of what i think is the most newbiest but comment down below and tell me what you think is the most newbiest thing you can do in balloons tower defense 6. all right guys one of the newbiest things you can do in balloons is if you get a free dart monkey at the start of the round you putting it down and realizing you put it in the wrong spot and then selling it because when you sell that your free dart monkey is just gone you don't get the free dart monkey back so there literally just goes a free 170 dollars that you just threw away and now you're not gonna ever get it back so yeah one of the newbies things you can do in balloons is not know that certain towers have range and then place it so that your tax shooter just can't hit any balloons at all so that all the balloons just end up getting by so sad all right guys a super duper newbie thing to do is to get two different types of glue gunners i don't know if you guys know this or not but if you actually have two different types of glue gunners they cancel each other out here watch okay guys so i have it set up here where i have a t5 glue storm monkey and right here i only have just a two points into corrosive glue as you can see this is a much more expensive tower but if you go ahead and say you throw out a pink balloon it will slow down the pink balloon and then this guy will actually put it on and it will make the balloon faster but then it'll add the corrosive effect on it so the corrosive effect will actually take away the slow properties of a balloon making it completely worthless to get this tower in the first place so that's a super newbie thing to do a newbie thing to do in balloon cd6 is to get a spike factory and put it right at the start of the map and the very 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 beginning part of it the whole point of a spike factory is to build up a defense for all your monkeys in case any balloons ever get through but if you have it right at the start well it's not gonna do very good is it maybe if you go like the top path and get super mines but still for the most part it's best as a defensive tower to be placed in the back of your lineup and not right at the start it's not gonna really get much done and be used to its full potential all right guys it's incredibly newbie if you put down a banana farm and not realize that you have to actively pick up all the bananas and then you just let your bananas just sit on the floor and rot look at our bananas Look at them! Look at them! Oh, I picked them up! Well, good, because I'm not a noob, but if you let the bananas just sit there, they'll turn away and just, they'll just rot. And what makes it even worse is if you go for the easy collect and then get banana salvage, so you don't have to pick them up yourself because you're too lazy to. So that is like the ultimate noob move if you end up getting banana salvage instead of getting either of two these two upgrades when you upgrade your banana farm. Alright guys, one of the most newbie things I see in balloons quite often is people trying to save up to instantly buy a super powerful tower, such as like the super monkey. So they avoid, you know, putting down any small type of tower just like a normal dart shooter or a ninja monkey or a monkey money, and then they save up all their money to buy the most expensive tower in the game because they think since it's the most expensive tower in the game it's obviously the best tower in the game so they just sit there and don't really spend any money and hopes to get the best tower possible which obviously isn't gonna work very well because you need to build up some kind of defense so you don't lose instantly but then again it's noobs so it's a really newbie thing if you never collect any of your achievements from balloons completing achievements and challenges gets you a whole lot of really cool things as you can see it gives you abilities insta monkeys monkey money all sorts of really cool things that you can use and get for free by just completing the challenges so by not collecting them well that's not good it's just sitting there not doing anything using a village with the ninja for camo detection <laughs> all right guys people using the ninja and not knowing that ninjas naturally give camo detection so they put a village down just to give him camo detection just so he can pop camo balloons but we all know that nin ninjas can pop camo balloons even without the village so this is definitely a really 
incredibly newbie thing to do. So a super duper incredibly newbie thing to do is not know that you can upgrade towers once you place them. So they just put down as many tier one towers as they can. So they just put all of their things down like this. I bet they're not going to get very far like this, but that's probably some things that they do just so they don't lose. They have to put down a bunch of T1 towers over and over and over, which what do you think is the strongest T1 tower guys? I'd love to know. Comment down below. So we all know the Cyber Monkey has global range. He's able to pop balloons anywhere on the map. But a really noob thing to do is to put him behind a wall so that he actually can't hit any balloons. So if you do this and you put him in the wrong spot, well, he's not going to be able to pop any balloons and then they're just going to all get by. That's a super duper noobie thing to do. You can also tell somebody's a noob at balloons when they upgrade a tower a certain way. For example, if you get a village and you upgrade it on the bottom path and you go all the way up on the bottom path of the village, you can tell they're newbie because, well, it's the bottom path of the village. So going straight by bottom path village or just getting only a village seeing thinking that's gonna pop balloons or allow you to like create more monkey army just because that's what a village normally does that makes you a big new guys i hope you're enjoying the video so far i love making different style of content like this now do you guys want to see me do the top 10 things that pros do in balloon tower defense 6 because i would love to make a video about that as well if this video gets over 10,000 likes i'll do the top 10 things that pros do in balloon tower defense a thing that you should almost never do in balloons is put down a banana farm right before the game's about to end. As you can see, it's round 79, and the game's gonna be over by the time we hit round 80. So after this round, well, the game's gonna be over, and I'm gonna be done with the level. And I have $11,000 left. So normally, I'd wanna buy something that's gonna help me defeat this OMG, but I think I want more money, so I'm gonna go ahead and just put down, a, you know, a bank to make more money. But in one round, I'm not gonna make that money back, and it's not worth it. So by putting down monkey farms right before the game's gonna end, is a very noob thing to do. Okay guys, so you guys know what it's like to be a noob now. So what we're gonna do is I changed my name to noob123 and we're gonna join in for some random co-op and I'm gonna be the biggest noob possible and we're gonna just see what happens if I'm a noob in online co-op. Let's go guys. All right guys, it's time to be the ultimate noob in balloon tower defense. So we're gonna use everything that we've learned to be the ultimate noobs. First things first, we're gonna put down ourselves a dart monkey and then we're gonna, wait, why did this guy just put a ninja monkey over here? Or a what? He just put a, he just put a ninja monkey over there. Okay, what's the next thing that we need to do to be the ultimate noob? We, oh my gosh, we have to put a tax shooter out of range. That's like it. We have to put the tax shooter out of range. Now that the tax shooter's out of range and we sold our free dart monkey, it's time to get a ninja that has a village helping him out. That's the, that's the plan. Oh, that's a lot of money, guys. I don't know how well we're going to be able to do that, but we can try, guys. Let's do it. Here. We can put our ninja down right here. It'll be perfect. <laughs> wait, 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 why is this guy putting, wait, why is this person putting all of their towers over here? I'm supposed to be the noob here. <laughs> What's happening? I'm so very confused. They're just, like, stacking all these towers over here. I guess they probably think that, like, here, wait, wait, wait. Oh, anyone can plant that. Wait, they could plant here, but they're putting it here instead. I bet they're kind of just like, well, if I can't plant here, there's no point in putting anything down. I kind of get that. Wait. All right, we got to put our village down to... We got to boost this tax shooter. Oh my goodness. The tax shooter almost has enough range to be on the track now. Wait, now we have to save up. Now we have to save up in order to get the super monkey, guys. I am being the ultimate noob, okay? It's the only option. Wait, somebody put, just put down more spikes down here for some reason. What is even happening? Oh, you guys, here we go. Boom! I just put a sniper down, and now he's his all of his vision is blocked. It's one of the worst. I think this is actually the worst spot to put a sniper now. He's blocked. He's, like, blocked, like, right here. It, it's not blocking the whole map, but it's definitely blocking a decent chunk of it. But don't worry, guys. Soon, we're going to be saved up enough to be able to get ourselves a super monkey, guys. There we go. We've been saving up all this time, but we can't put it next to the village, guys. That's bad. All right, so it, ha it can't be in range of the village, obviously. The bananas look weird. Am I just weird? Or the banana farms, bananas have always, bananas have always looked like that. I'm just crazy for some strange reason. He's got a banana farmer. Look at him go. Wait, is the banana farmer attacking? Do I have, oh my gosh, the banana farmer is attacking. I totally forgot about it. Oh no, he's got the, he's the crazy banana farmer who pops balloons. All right, guys, don't worry. We now have radar scanner. So now our ninja monkey can detect camo balloons, guys. We are set and good to go. See, guys, look. He's coming in handy. Now that he can hit camo balloons, he's able to pop them. Look at him go. Oh, my gosh. They're going <laughs> to... Oh, luckily, we still had some spikes there because that could have been... That could have not ended well. 
We're fine, guys. We're fine. Oh, guys, the round's about to end soon. All right, now it's time for us to invest in a banana farm. It's perfect, guys. Don't worry. We're going to make so much money by the time this round's over, guys. This, Guys, this is how much I've contributed. 100 pops we've, and, like, 600 pops. Okay, and 100 pops. And just ne never upgrading the any of the towers. Never upgrading any of them. Except this to get to get this. And the banana farms, because obviously we want to get... Oh, wait, no! We went the b wrong banana farm route. We can sell it. Guys, we went the wrong banana farm route. We obviously got to get banana salvage. And nothing else. That's the only option, guys. And that leaves us with $3,000, guys. Then we can get a village for our village. And give that radar detection. That's the only option, guys. Now, we how do we lose? How do we lose, guys? It's impossible. We just can't lose. Oh, my God. This guy almost has every single tower down. What is happening? Wait, he's upgraded it. Oh, here we go. We're going to beat it. We're going to beat it. Yeah, we are the strongest. Guys, look at all the money I made. Where's my money? Oh, wait. There's my money, guys. I made $404. Let's go. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video with me being noob123. If you guys want to see more noob videos with me trying to troll people and just being a noob in general, hit that like button, guys. And if you want to see some more top 10 videos and balloons, make sure to also subscribe and turn on notifications because we upload daily here on the channel. Thanks for watching. I love you guys. I'll see you guys tomorrow for some more awesome content. Bye, guys.